All right, guys. Well, it is a gray, gloomy Sunday evening here in uh, the end times here. We are in Ithaca, New York. Ithaca, New York. This is a obviously a, a different planet than uh, it is a Sunday. It is May 12th, 2024. It is Mother's Day. 2024 for whatever that means and uh so uh I've been spending the day in Ithaca New York doing all sorts of various things and meeting up with people and uh hopefully I got my got a laptop back in working order and meeting up with my doomer friends and whatnot uh <laughs> but guys I just got to say, I I know I am not in Denellen, Florida anymore, and I, I don't know, so <clears throat> is Ithaca, New York, is it just a hotbed for trannies, or is Denellen, Florida just not exactly a, uh, a, a magnet for trannies? Uh, I have... Uh, bumped into more trannies in the last six hours of my life than uh, certainly in the six months I spent in Denellen, Florida. For because as far as I know, I never laid eyes on a tranny uh, in Denellen. Good fucking god! And uh, you know, I, I just. When you're sitting there, you know, in line making conversation, uh, just friendly chit chat with some woman, some obvious woman, sitting there, and and she has a fucking beard, and and I mean, I, I'm trying not to stare. Uh, you know how it is, not to stare at trannies. Although, of course, that's what they want you to do is stare at them uh, or, or they wouldn't uh, or they wouldn't be women with beards. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm looking at her face and going, uh, uh, OK, Th this woman with this beard, I, I, I mean, it was clearly hair growing out of her face. So. I, I'm assuming that she's pumped up on testosterone or something, and uh, you know she might not have been a bad-looking woman without a fucking beard, and, and just trying. Uh, what is this woman trying to prove? Walking around with uh, with a fucking beard, and of course you will not be surprised. She had on camo pants and a flannel shirt. She was wearing camo pants and a flannel shirt. She told me that she had uh, recently moved here from the Big Island in Hawaii. So uh, I guess they have uh, women with beards in the Big Island in Hawaii. And, 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 and then these others. That, and what is it about Habitat for Humanity? And I'm talking both of them. I'm talking the one downtown and the one up in the suburbs. Uh, you know, I, I was talking to this tranny, uh, the one up in the suburbs. It, it doesn't seem to make any difference. But the, the one downtown, my God, is, is like every fucking employee uh, is a tranny. Uh, half the goddamn people shopping there are, are, are trannies. Uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. So I guess I will have to uh, dust off my, uh, my lesbian with a dick tranny uh, embodiment in, or whatever you would call it. What, what, what is it? Uh, what, what would you call that? So I guess for the next six months, now that I'm that I'm back up here, I can go back to being a tranny lesbian with a dick, uh, because you just in, in you know up here, you just 
uh, announce to the world what you are and nobody has a problem with it so for the next six months I am a tranny uh, I am a tranny I am a lesbian uh, just stuck you, you know in a heterosexual man's body uh, so there you go I am back to my my old tranny ways I you know I, I feel so free free to be me and uh, he probably uh, you know in Denellen Florida announcing that you are a tranny lesbian with a dick uh, you would not be quite as well received as you would be up here in Ithaca New York because you can be a you, you, you can be a, a tranny lesbian with a dick I guess you can be a, a tranny gay man with a pussy uh, it, it, it makes no difference anymore what what the fuck you have between your legs it, it, it's what you say you are they they have no problem in this town uh, just you know assaulting the the most basic laws of biology the most basic laws of the English language and since the laws of biology and the the English language have just been thrown out the fucking window and and, and nobody seems to care and, uh, apparently anybody who defends the basic laws of biology and uh, the basic laws of the English language uh, is, is the bad guy so I don't want to be the bad guy uh, so I'm going to just become like everybody else in Ithaca New York I'm gonna become a uh, a biology and English language scoff law that's me your old uh, biology and English language scoff law and then of course the other thing uh, that, that I've seen more of today than I've seen in in the previous six ma in six months or you know are these goddamn mask Nazis and, you know it, it's one thing where I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be better trying to be not so triggered when uh, it's people inside like at Habitat for Humanity you know a tranny mask Nazi I, there are two tranny mask Nazis working uh, at the uh, at the downtown uh, restore two trannies with masks uh, I I think I think that both of these two are uh, are male to female trannies. It's hard to tell behind the mask because you know the the masks do tend to cover up the women's beards. Uh, you know they, these women they take all of these hormones. They got all of this work to grow a beard. And then they hide their beautiful beard behind a fucking mask. But, you know, it's one thing. I'm trying to tolerate it. But I, I was just, you know, walking back to my truck outside. Just, just walking down the fucking sidewalk outside. Uh, and, and there were these two mask Nazis. This young couple, uh, not trannies. Uh, this, uh, this average looking... Uh, young, uh, apparently non-tranny heterosexual couple wearing these fucking masks. We're just walking down the fucking sidewalk uh, like it was goddamn 2020. Uh, you know, I just want to go up to him. Well, I want to go up to him and rip that fucking mask off. But, uh, you know, I, I really would like to engage these people. You know, guys, it's not 2020 anymore. Uh, but oh well, I am not in uh, Denellen, Florida anymore, and it has gotten up to a toasty 54 degrees here uh, in 
in the Finger Lakes of New York while I hightail it back to uh, to Bugs in a Jar Farm to go uh, check out my new laptop to see how uh, the guy at at Best Buy the <laughs> he goes he goes I've, I've taken a lot of shit here the past few days by transferring uh, all all the data off of the good laptop onto this piece of shit and uh, then I was suggesting that uh, I wanted to buy a new battery that for this Dell Inspiron that this friend of mine in Florida gave me and he goes sir he goes, don't spend any more money on this computer. <laughs> oh, God, he was he was embarrassed to be seen with the uh, with the Pentium, whatever a a Pentium is instead of a. He was transferring data off of an i7 onto a Pentium, which apparently is just absolute. Uh, a, you know, it's just anathema to a geek to uh, transfer data from an i7 onto a Pentium. And he assures me that I'm going to be absolutely horrified uh, after having an i7 for the past four years going back to this antique. And... Uh, he said uh, he will keep my number, and when he hears of just an unbelievably good deal at Best Buy, uh, when he truly, in his honest opinion, finds a, a machine with an i7 processor, uh, that he will call me and say, you do not want to... Uh, Pass this one up. So this young man, he, uh, <laughs> you know, he was talking uh, about my YouTube channels. We were, you know, putting all signing into my YouTube channels and shit. And uh, he was asking me what. Uh, he just kind of looked blankly at Humpty Dumpty Tribe. So he sees this collapse chronicles, and he asked me what the hell my YouTube channel's about. And uh, he goes, well, he goes, you know that they say the, the, that the Finger Lakes of New York are supposed to be one of the better places to be when the apocalypse, when the apocalypse hits. So uh, I guess this young man is preparing for the apocalypse as a Best Buy geek. Uh, but he did love my iTunes. He, uh, he was uh, <laughs> he never heard. Uh, so I gave him permission to rip my iTunes, my 23,000 song library, uh, onto a thumb drive. And he is very thrilled by, uh, by that gift. Anywho. Things are coming along, plugged back in. Oh, fuck. Anyway, get out there and enjoy being plugged in while you still can. I'm back to uh, Hummingbird Tiny House to see if I have a new door installed on the tiny house we shall see my guys <laughs>